They have feathers all over their body. They have two feet. They have a huge beak. In this episode of Creatures Teach Us, we're talking about hornbills. A hornbill's beak is usually called a bill. Horn bill, get it? Yeah, bill, beak, and mouth is shaped like a horn. The bill is also bigger than most other birds and curves downwards. Sometimes people think they have two beaks, but what's on top of the bill is called a cask. It may look heavy, but their bill and cask is made up mostly of air. This means it's actually very light. Cask give hornbills extra support when they peel off tree bark or dig in the ground for insects. Cask can also help hornbills call out louder. <laughs> Not all hornbills have cask either, but Singapore's oriental part hornbill does. There aren't a lot of them though. Only about 100. That's because their homes in the forest have been destroyed. There are two other types of hornbills that used to be found in Singapore. The rhinoceros hornbill and helmeted hornbill. But they no longer exist here. Hornbills are sometimes called farmers of the forest. That's because they help to spread seeds from fruit in the forest. Singapore's hornbills don't just eat fruits though. They also eat small animals like insects, lizards, fish, and crabs. They are omnivores. They eat both plants and animals. The oriental pied hornbill has a black and white body and a bright yellow bill. Their bill turns yellow because of a special oil their body produces when preening. Preening is when a bird tidies and cleans its feathers with its beak. Other types of hornbills have different colored casks. They can be orange or red too. Most hornbills spend their lives in trees. Many will build their nests in holes in trees. Because it can sometimes be difficult to find suitable trees in Singapore. We have now built 20 nests for hornbills to live in. When hornbills have babies, the mommy hornbill will stay in the nest for months. Hmm, usually about 90 days. That's like two December school holidays. The door to the nest is sealed shut after the mommy hornbill goes in. This is to protect mommy hornbill and the babies when they are born. During this time, mommy hornbill has to trust daddy hornbill. Daddy hornbill will bring to the nest all the food she and the babies need. She has to trust Daddy Hornbill will provide all that she needs to survive. That's like when the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and He will make your path straight. We can trust that God loves us and He will help us when we have problems. He gives us people who care for us and who look after us. The Oriental Pied Hornbill isn't just found in Singapore. It can also be found in countries like India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam. Other types of hornbills can be found in Africa too. And they all have very pretty eyelashes. These eyelashes are actually feathers. It helps protect their eyes from dust and sunlight. Hornbills tend to travel in pairs or as a small family. So you won't see large flocks of them like pigeons. But they sometimes join forces with other animals to hunt for food. The oriental pied hornbill sometimes follows monkeys around. So they can feed on the insects these monkeys dig up. And Daddy Hornbill can bring the insects back to his family in the nest. Hornbills are humans. We can learn to trust those who love us. What can we trust God to do for us?